Time for some upgrades. Let's get started. What's up guys? Uh, one of the things that I like to do on a regular basis is try and improve performance as best as I can. Uh, and the best kind of performance upgrades I like to do are free ones. Uh, this right here uh, are components that came out of my old PC uh, before I replaced it. Uh, this is an MSI Radeon 6870. It's their Twin Frozer 2 model. And inside this ASUS box is the CPU that I care about for this video. And that's an i5-2500K. Now, both of those parts are going to be going into my wife's computer. Uh, she's got uh, a i3-2120, uh, that's a dual-core processor, and a Radeon 6850. Now, the video card is going to be a slight upgrade, not you know tremendous, but it's going to be um, a little bit better overall. The CPU upgrade, I think, is going to be a big boost uh, in performance for her. So in this video, we're going to take uh, these guys and put them in the computer and uh, get everything set up. I want to talk about this motherboard really quickly. Uh, this P8Z60AV Pro, when I got it originally, was just an awesome board, uh, and I had no issues with it whatsoever. The uh, Sandy Bridge CPU uh, overclocked really well uh, and was just a smooth CPU from the day that I got it. So I was really happy with it, and I think performance wise, it's going to work really well on my wife's computer. The motherboard, though, uh, I do have plans for this. So as you guys uh, know, or you may not know, um, I've got a, a Windows uh, home server that I've got running here at home, and it's an older box, uh, older components, and I'm going to be taking this motherboard and upgrading that machine with what I take out of my wife's computer. So I've got a couple of different upgrade projects that are going to be uh, coming along. Sorry about the weird angle, you guys. I My uh, tripod doesn't go high enough to get this whole thing in frame. Uh, this, if you haven't already guessed, is my wife's computer. Uh, this is a Corsair Carbide Series 500R in white. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to the original upgrade series for this PC. So if you haven't already checked that out, go do that. Um, that was a fun project for me. Now I'm going to do the, uh, this little upgrade in parts. So I'm going to do the video card first, boot up and make sure that works okay as I expect it to. Uh, then shut down and then upgrade the CPU. Now I'm doing that because I don't know if Windows 8 uh, is going to yell at me and want to re-authenticate or reauthorize uh, if I did both at the same time. So it doesn't take a lot of effort um, just to do one, try it, and then do the other. So that's how I'm going to go. So I need to get this um, 6850 out. This is an XFX Radeon 6850. Um, and it's just power couple of thumb screws and then we'll pop the other one in. Video card removal is pretty easy so the screws are out and the um, PCI slot's got this little lever uh, that you need to press down to release uh, the bottom of the card. So I'm doing that on this side and then this just kind of comes out like that. That's actually a little bit dusty. We'll figure out what to do with this later. And then the new card just drops in. Now this Twin Frozer uh, card was really awesome. I just think it looks really cool. Um, that's got to account for something, I think. And then that just slides in. Should be easy. <laughs> it's hard to do at that angle. And like that. So then we can plug in power and then we can power this up. Okay, as I suspected, that was nice and easy. Pop the video card in, everything turned on just properly. And it took Windows 8 just a couple of seconds to reset itself and pick up that uh, the card was in there. So, no big issues, onto the CPU. So I turned this around a little bit so we can get a better shot of the cooler. Now uh, this is a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. And even though the CPU that's under here is a non-overclockable i3-2120, um, I really hated the Intel uh, box cooler. Uh, first thing I have to do is take the fan off so that I can get to the um, the screw holes, or actually the screws I should say, on either side. Now I'm going to be removing these kind of in a um, X pattern here and I'm just using a uh, long uh, or like a little extension on my screwdriver here and uh, then we'll take this off and then we should be good to go. This should just come off, and it does. 
Looks like I didn't take one screw out all the way. There we go. And there's the CPU. Now, a couple things I'm really happy about. Number one, the CPU paste was uh, evenly distributed. That's great. Uh, and one thing I'm not happy about is how dusty <laughs> the uh, cooler is. So we are definitely going to be cleaning that uh, before we reinstall it. Now, removal of the uh, processor is pretty easy. This little lever down here, uh, you push down and over, and then it comes up. This lifts out, and then we can just take the chip out. Okay, that uh, i3 2120 is out and going in is the i5 2500K. Now this is a 3.3 gigahertz quad core CPU. It's unlocked so we can overclock which we're definitely going to be doing. Now the installation is pretty basic. Uh, we want to make sure that this little golden triangle that's on this corner lines up with the triangle that's indicated by the bracket which is down here. So we'll get that up. We're going to drop this in like that. No need to press it down. We're going to make sure that these uh, little tabs here fold and actually not fold but slide underneath this little uh, screw piece down here. Bring the lever down and down underneath the catch right there. Next thing to do is to reinstall the CPU cooler uh, using some fresh thermal paste. Now I'm using the thermal compound that came from Cooler Master which was included in the uh, Hyper 212 Evo. Here's the CPU cooler minus the fan. I took it outside to give it a once over with the air compressor to get the majority of the dust off of it. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, some alcohol so I can take the uh, thermal paste off of it before we install it on the uh, new CPU here. With the CPU installed I now have to put the cooler back together and if you want a detailed step-by-step -step set of instructions on how to do that uh, you can check out the description below for a link to a video where I do just that. And just like that everything worked the way that it should. Uh, Windows 8 booted up just fine uh, and I didn't have to reauthorize or do anything like that so that's great. Uh, I first jumped into the BIOS before I got into Windows just to make sure that the processor was recognized and it was so that's great. Uh, and I think that I'm all set. Uh, so I'm going to have to put the PC back together. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to take it outside to the garage and give it a quick dusting uh, while I have it um, taken apart. Uh, and then I'll put it back in service. So if this is your first time uh, checking out my channel, uh, thank you for stopping by and subscribe uh, so you can get more videos like this, PC builds, projects, and other assorted stuff like that. Um, for everybody else, uh, definitely like and share this video because that's going to help me out a ton. Uh, check out the description below for all the videos that I talked about. Uh, you're going to um, see links for that as well as uh, links to where I am and you can follow me there for updates and everything else. Uh, and uh, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching you guys. See you next time.